A little while back, I was lucky enough to try out the Leica M6, courtesy of Leica. They sent it to me for a couple of weeks to test out and see how I got on with it. The Leica M6 is vastly considered the holy grail of 35mm film cameras. And after spending just two weeks with it, I can see why. When I first started shooting film, I was exclusively shooting on a Canon EOS 500, which is a 35mm SLR that performs very similarly to a DSLR. Because it didn't really feel that different to me from shooting digitally, I didn't really fall in love with film photography at first. It took me a long while and not really until I started shooting medium format and shooting with less automated cameras that I really started to enjoy the process of film photography. Using a camera like the Leica M6 definitely helped me to develop a love for 35mm film photography that I haven't yet tapped into. So a little bit about the Leica M6. The Leica M6 is a rangefinder camera that was originally released by Leica back in the 80s and has since been given, you know, various updates all the way up to 2022, which was the most recent updated model. It's a small but very simple camera and I think as cliche as it sounds, it feels very much like an extension of your eye as a photographer. So I was using a 35 millimeter lens that they sent me. 35 millimeter tends to be my favorite focal length to shoot in, especially when it comes to digital photography and things like that. So I, I kind of generally like the 35 millimeter focal length because it does feel like an extension of my eye. It does feel like I can translate what I'm seeing into an image quite seamlessly. Um, so I was really happy to be able to try out the Leica M6 with that focal length. So when it comes to focusing with the Leica M6, as a rangefinder camera, it uses a focusing patch and you have to essentially line up um, the image with a ghost image in order to focus correctly. I really enjoyed this method of focusing. I felt like it was a lot easier, made a lot more sense to me than other cameras where I've had to manually focus. Obviously I wear glasses, my eyesight isn't amazing. And I actually found that if I was to find a contrasty bit of the image and then use that, that part of the image to nail the focus, it was maybe easier to focus than it was when you're just manually focusing and trying to guess if something is in focus on like an SLR or even a system like my Mamiya RZ67. You can also zone focus, which essentially is where you use the focal distances the, on the lens to kind of gauge the distance between yourself and your subject and you just put in that distance and it should kind of line up with your focus. As I shot more with the camera, I was using zone focusing a little bit more. This made more sense to me, definitely sped up my focusing kind of process. I think using both kind of systems in one, like guessing kind of the zone that you're gonna be focusing in and then fine tuning with the focus patch felt like a really nice way to focus. But let's talk a little bit about the actual photos that I shot. So my first role with the Leica M6 consisted of me just carrying the camera around for a few days to get used to it. And um, you know, I shoot a lot of medium format, you guys will know if you follow this channel. And with medium format, with the systems that I shoot on, you tend to get 10 shots per roll. So shooting 35 millimeter is a little bit of an alien concept in the sense that, you know, having like 20 odd, 30 odd photos, takes me a little bit of time to get through those roles. So my biggest mistake when I was shooting this role was in the rewinding process. I forgot to rewind, like pull the rewind lever, which meant that when I was rewinding the film, it snapped inside the camera. Thankfully, the lab that I use, Come Through Lab, who I've spoken about endlessly on this channel, um, they were able to retrieve it for me and the role survived. Um, I did lose a few photos and a lot of photos ended up with light leaks because I did open the back before realizing that the role had, had um, snapped inside. But you know, I'm a very firm believer of trial and error. You make these mistakes and you hopefully don't do it again. So the second role that I shot on the Leica M6 was a black and white role. The only black and white role that I tested during my time with the camera and I shot Tri-X 400, which is one of my favorite black and white stocks. I love the contrast. This role again was split over a couple of days, including on a portrait shoot that I did. I'll put some of the photos on screen now. I also did print, hand print some of these photos in my uh, DIY dark room in my bathroom. So I'll put the scans versus the hand prints on screen as well. I was initially quite nervous about shooting with the Leica M6 for the portrait shoot, just as I wasn't really sure how I would fare using the 
the rangefinder focusing system when focusing on a person you know most likely a moving person in front of my lens but once I kind of got into it I ended up really enjoying it for the portrait shoot so I shot a few more roles with the camera both on the portrait shoot that I already mentioned as well as across a few other shoots and a few other days and my favorite photos from my time with the Leica M6 are mostly on this roll of Cinestill 800T that I shot and I also printed a few of these frames in the darkroom as well again I'll put the scans versus the handprints on screen now but there was definitely a a lot of learning curves for me whilst I was using the Leica M6. Aside from my initial snapping of the film, I did mess up a couple of other roles too. On one of the roles I just mustn't have loaded the camera properly because the the film came out blank, the roll came out blank. So yeah, I, that's something that I kind of expected to happen at least once because I'm not really very used to this kind of film loading system. My experience with film loading has been with medium format cameras that load quite differently and also with automated 35mm cameras that have a completely different kind of loading system. So I wasn't really surprised that I had at least one roll that wasn't loaded correctly. On another roll I was shooting in an environment where I think I was trying to be too quick with the focusing. I think I was in an environment where I didn't want to take too much time. I was in an art gallery and yeah I think I rushed the focusing a little bit so we ended up with quite a lot of photos that were out of focus. I think as much as I enjoyed the rangefinder focusing system it's definitely like like all new things something that I would need to practice with. So the final role that I shot, I don't know what happened to this role. It was, you know, either the way I shot it, the way it was developed, the way it was stored, the quality of the film itself. But regardless, what came out ended up being a lot of underexposed images and a damaged film, which was a shame, but I was still happy to have a couple decent rolls out of the camera um, and definitely was able to shoot some of my favorite 35 millimeter shots that I've ever shot um, on the Leica M6. So what are my overall thoughts on the Leica M6? I really enjoyed using the Leica M6 and I am patiently waiting for the day that I get to try it again. I think that like all new cameras, materials, skills, mediums, um, I could use a lot of practice with the camera, especially to truly perfect the way that I use it within my workflow and how it fits my style of shooting. I'm definitely someone who works from practicing, from trial and error. And so using a camera over and over is the best way for me to really master it or get to grips with it or just get comfortable with it. But you know, even after just really a few quality days with the Leica M6, I was already finding myself enjoying the practicality and the ergonomics of the camera. So it's definitely a camera I think that I could learn to improve with over time. Of course the elephant in the room is that the price tag with the Leica M6 is hefty and I can you know understand it in a sense that this camera is really a beautiful camera, it produces beautifully sharp images and it's lovely to use but I also believe that you can find other 35mm cameras at a much lesser price that can produce similar results or that you might enjoy using as much. At the moment I don't really shoot enough 35mm film to warrant the cost of a Leica M6 as much as of course I would like one um, but I would definitely consider renting one out for specific jobs and um, jobs where I would be needing to shoot 35mm film I could see myself justifying the cost in that sense. And maybe you know eventually picking one up if I can find one for a decent enough price. But a big thank you to Leica for lending me the camera and for letting me shoot with it. It was truly an amazing experience to try out such a notorious camera and also to find a newfound love for 35mm film photography because of that camera. I know there's a lot of video content on the internet about this camera so thank you if you have sat through this video and watched my ramblings on it. I think you know as with anything on this channel, my channel is very much just talking about my experience with it. It's not the be all and end all. It's not the most technical of reviews, but it's how I found it. And hopefully you enjoyed some of the photos as well. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.